Hey fam, and welcome back to I Love Me, Me, Me. So for those of you who are finding my channel for the very first time, my name is Marshawn and I'm your life and relationship strategist. I help men and women alike to create the relationship that they so want, need, and desire by supplying them with simple tips and strategies to implement into their life so they can create that happy, romantic relationship. So now today we're going to talk about how to let go of the past right after this. All right, fam, thanks so much for coming back to I Love Me, Me, Me. So how do you let go of your past? Let's jump into it. The first thing is to decide to let go of your past. Yeah, let's sit in that for a minute. Make a decision that today is the last day I think about what coulda, woulda, shoulda happened or what actually did happened back there. I'm deciding to let the past go. The second thing is to discuss with somebody that you trust. Of course, discuss what your specific pains were that you need to let go of. What was it that was holding you, that was keeping you trapped? What is it that you need to let go of? What is it that you're deciding to let go of? What is What are the pains or what is the pain that every time somebody hits that nerve, you like, you about ready to give it to them. Even if you never give it to them, that trigger, that pain, that thing, that thing, that's the thing you need to be letting go of. Because it's not helping you. It's hurting you. It's toxic. I talked about this one in not too long ago video, which is to stop blaming others for the life that you are choosing to live. Yeah, you're choosing to live that life that you are living. You're holding on to the past. You're choosing to hold on to the past. But Marshawn, you don't understand. You don't understand what I went through. And that I, mm, nope. Nope. Don't matter. No matter, you're choosing to hold on to it. You're choosing to blame other people for the life that you are currently creating. Now, if, if you were young and you were going through something and literally you didn't choose it, I get that. But today, the future you or the present you, you're choosing to hold on to that pain, to that thing that happened to you. Again, you have to forgive the people that did things to you, including what you did to yourself. And you're not forgiving the person for them. You're forgiving the person for you, for your sanity. So you're not out there trying to slice your wrists or trying to commit suicide or just angry at the entire world. Because that is holding on to a lot of toxic energy. Start telling your story. I know you're probably embarrassed by what happened to you. But if you start talking about it and telling your story, telling you, sis, I'm telling you, bro, you're only going to be helping yourself and building your confidence and helping somebody else who's been through the exact same thing that you've been through. And you will start to build a community that is surrounding you. And you're like, dang, I wasn't alone. I'm not alone. I'm actually good. I'm powerful. I'm meant to be here. And that BS that I went through, that's a part of my story. That's a part of who I am today. And I'm okay with it. No matter what it was. No matter what it was. No matter what happened. That's a part of you. That's a part of your story. And that's a part of who made you who you are today. Another way to let go of your past is to focus on where you are right now and where you have come from. You know what? I did. That happened to me. Whatever that is. Insert it. That happened to me. But guess what? I'm not there no more. Every day I am overcoming. 
Every day I'm getting that much closer to being able to let this thing go. This thing will not control me. I will control it. Focus on where you're at now versus where you were, where you came from, i.e. your past. The next one. I think I said this before, but I'm going to say it here. Forgive all the people that have caused you pain. Forgive them all. You know the way you can forgive them without ever talking to them. You can write the letter down. You can record it. We got all of these, all of this technology in front of us to help us along the way. Because what you're doing, you're getting that out of your system. Yes, you can tell somebody. You can, of course you can. You can make you can create a YouTube channel specifically for this thing and watch yourself grow just by talking about it. You can hand write a letter to this person, but never send it to them. Or you can send it to them. But you can also just burn it up. Because again, you're getting all of this toxic ish out of you for you. At the end of the day, it has nothing to do with the other person and what they did to you. It's all about you. Forgive everybody. Not I'm going to forgive these two, but that one, no, I can't, no, I can't forget it. No. You got to forget them too. You know why? Because if you like me and you believe in God, God forgives us every day for the sins that we have done. Our past, present, and the future sins that we will commit. Every day. And, and this is, I, and I actually, you should be repenting for your sins. But even if you don't repent for your sins, you're still forgiven. You know why? Because Jesus died. That's what all of that was about. Because he knew that we were not able to keep our promises to God. The Ten Commandments. That's why we are under grace and mercy now. Because the people, our ancestors, couldn't keep up with the Ten Commandments. Forgive like God has forgiven you so many times. Doesn't matter what they did to you. Doesn't matter what you did to yourself. Forgive them and forgive yourself as many times as you need to. You know what? Today I'm actually over it. And then three days later, the same thing comes up and you feeling like ish. Forgive yourself again and start all over. And guess what? Each time you do that, the time frames in between you having to re-forgive yourself or re-forgive that person is going to get more distant until you never have to forgive them again for that thing. But forgive them. All of us have been through something. All of us have a story to tell. But forgive them. I'm not saying you got to be in their presence. I'm not saying that you have to, you know, keep yourself around them. I'm not saying that you have to have a relationship with them. But I am saying you have to forgive them. Because you do. Because trust me, even if you haven't done somebody the way that you feel was just the utmost disrespect and cruel thing that had happened to you. You hurt some other people yourself. Yeah, you know why? I know this to be true. Because hurt people hurt people. And if you are holding on to your past, specifically that deep down hurt, trust me, you, you didn't hurt somebody else because you have yet to let that go. And so every time you're feeling your hurt, you're feeling your pain, guess what you're doing? Passing it along to the next person and you're giving them the hurt and pain to feel. So just like that person hurt you, you have hurt other people. We all have. None of us are innocent. Another way to let go of your past is to stop letting your past memories control your present and your future. And that quote is actually from Tony Robbins, but I love it, which is why I inserted it here. Stop letting your past memories control your present and your future. Don't do it. Again, because the first point was you need to make a decision to let it go. So when you decide to let it go, these past memories can never control your present or your future again. 
The next thing is just to be gentle with yourself. Don't beat yourself up. Don't call yourself stupid. Don't say how ugly you are. Don't say all of these cruel and mean things to yourself. Because the more you say them to yourself, the more you start to believe them. And so you have to change and switch your energy, switch your conversation that you are having to yourself. So you can have a better life, feel better about yourself, feel more confident about yourself, and feel like, damn it, I am good enough just the way I am. Flaws and all. Somebody will love me because I love myself. That's the type of story that you need to start repeating to yourself day in and day out. That past is just that. It's gone, never to return again, unless you are the one who is reliving it every single day. The last and final way to let go of your past is to fill yourself up and surround yourself with people that actually fill you up. Fill you up to make you happy. You'll see yourself laughing more. You'll see yourself more loose. All of that tense and holding on to all that stuff, that start, all that stuff starts to go away. You start to take care, you start to take better care of yourself. All of that wraps together. See, we as humans, we like to compartmentalize things. But in your life, in your relationship, all of that's intertwined. And everything that has happened specifically in your past, when it comes to something bad happening, whether you were a child, domestic violence, even got raped, almost died. All of those things are in your path. You are here to tell your story. And guess what? Somebody wants to hear your story if you're brave enough to tell it. So now I ask you, what is it that you need to stop holding on to? How do you need to let go of your path? What in your past do you need to let go of? How is your past affecting your present and your future? I want you to think about it and then do something about it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Deuces.